and do your configurations all of you and don't neglect the, um, any configurations and uh, but I mean particularly related to the technical aspects like uh, electronic balance techniques and uh, data medium exchange things and all. Okay. okay. Can you open this notepad now? Uh, any notepad or else can you take out the uh, Word document? OK, good. <clears throat> uh, can you put the heading, ma'am? That is electronic bank statement. Can you put the heading electronic bank statement? And uh, increase the font. And uh, also change the color. Okay, right. Yeah. So, all of you, what do you mean by electronic bank statement? Okay. So, this, you know it very well. This electronic bank statement is uh, basically one part of the cash management processes. What do you mean by cash management processes? Cash management process is used for the outgoing payments and also incoming payments. So, that is why this electronic bank statement is part of the cash management process. Okay. See, in any uh, SAP systems or uh, uh, any non SAP systems and all, it is a central component of payment transactions in the those systems, right? It is central component. Electronic bank statement is the central component, first of all. And this electronic bank statement supports you in the processing of uh, incoming payments and also outgoing payments, right? So, Many companies or many clients and many organizations, uh, they use this option of obtaining this bank statements data from the electronic bank statement. Okay, I will just give you the overview of uh, electronic bank statements and all. Okay, all of you. Now, <clears throat> you have done a different types of uh, things in electronic bank statements. Okay. Or else, uh, I will just give you the example. Um, you will going to buy the raw material from the vendor. I mean, organization buys the raw material from the vendor particularly. And after that, so they will expect some payments from you, right? That that we can call it as an organization. Okay. And whatever the payments that you have, okay, you will store all this data in data medium exchange file. Okay. Then. You will share the data medium exchange file using tools to the particular banks and bank will transfer the amount to the particular vendors based on the information that you have sent. OK, so in which file you have sent based on the flat file, XML file, Excel file, Word file, IDOC files, anything. OK, so intermediary documents we can call it as. Whatever the files that you are sending to the particular bank, based on that details only, bank will transfer the amount to the vendor. Okay. And after that, whatever the debit amounts that you have and whatever the credit amounts that you have. Okay. So let's uh, talk about the debit amounts. Okay. So you have given the uh, permissions to the bank that. Uh, 
I mean, through this bank account only, you can able to transfer that amount. OK, so bank will understand that these things based on the data medium exchange file information and bank will send the amount to the vendor and they will prepare the statements. <clears throat> OK, and after that, so they will have one files and we will have one files and how you can able to integrate all these files with your SAP system based on the format files that we can call it as a MT940 format, BAI1 format, BAI formats, BAI2 formats. OK, so etc, etc. We do have a lot of form formats. Most probably some of the clients or I mean 95 percentage of the clients, they just use the MT940 formats and uh, some of the clients, they will just use the BAI, BAI1, BAI2 formats and all. OK, so this electronic bank statement is used. For the incoming payments statements and also um, outgoing payments statements and all. OK. It is used to store the vendors payment transactions and customers payments transactions. Based on your I say uh, sorry, based on your bank details. OK, and the next one is here. <clears throat> this is just an explanation all of you. OK, interview point of view explanation. <clears throat> this electronic bank statement is very important in any interview point of view and also in real time also it is very, very important and uh, we should know the electronic bank statement uh, BPF process and the next one is we should understand the entries of the EBS process. When you are paying the amount to the particular vendor, what are the entries that are happening between organization and vendor? OK, when you are receiving the amount from the uh, customer and what are the entries that are happening between organization to customer? OK, so. When you are buying the raw material from the vendor, you are the customer, right? And he is the supplier. Then when you are receiving the money from the particular customer, you are the vendor and the customer is the. Uh, I mean. Uh, what we can say? Customer, customer is the customer, right? Yes. So we should know the entries. OK, understanding the entries in EBS process is very, very important. Based on what? Based on the strings only, entries will be passed to the electronic bank statement using MT940 formats. OK, and see what are those formats? OK, we will use the formats, statement formats, understandings of the statement formats, OK, like MT940 formats, EA, BI2 formats, like this. OK, so you can just write down them. Impo important things in electronic bank statements. Important things in electronic bank statements. Um, <clears throat> in interview point of view, they will just ask you these questions, all of you. OK, and um, they will more focus on the form itself. OK, if I have the credit balance, if I have the debit balances and all, how you are uploading based on your bank information and all. OK, so first point is SAP electronic bank statement BPF process. OK, business process flows and all we can call the dance. <clears throat> electronic SAP electronic bank statement BPF process. SAP electronic bank statement. Bank statement BPF process. BPF process. OK, good. The next one. Understanding the entries in EBS process. Understanding the entries. Understanding the entries in EBS process. EBS process is nothing but the electronic bank statement process. So based on which, based on the understanding search string only, we can able to process the entries. OK, third point is understanding search string. OK, in configuration, you will going to get all these things. You don't worry. OK, understanding search string, S-T-R-I-N-G. Understanding search string. Then next, understanding statement format. Understanding statement format. Understanding statement format. All these things are mandatory, all of you. If you tell all these points in the interview, definitely your profile will be selected. OK. And the next one is. 
uh, fifth one is user exist. Okay, whether these users are existed or not, that we can call it as a master records. Okay, user exist, EXIT. The next one, understanding the algorithms of EBS. Understanding the algorithms of understanding the algorithms of EBS. Algorithm of EBS. Okay. Yes, the next one. See, we have to know the things of SAP electronic bank statement BPF process, right? Okay. So under this BPF process, can you just put the A, A point, ma'am? Uh, remove this seventh point. Go up and uh, under the first point, just no, no, no. Under the first point, SAP electronic bank statement BPF process. Under that point, just give A. Hmm. A point. See, in this electronic bank statement processes, okay, that is business flow pro, uh, uh, process flows and on. We do have online processing. Yes, first one is online processing. Online processing. Online processing. Second, B is batch processing. Online processing. Just B is batch processing. Okay, so these things are mandatory. See, I will be uh, discussed these things in, um, uh, in electronic bank statement configurations and all. You don't worry. Just understanding the points of uh, things are very, very important. Okay, then next one. In the understanding increase in EBS process, can you just put the A point, ma'am? Uh, so payment process flow, First one is payment process flow, and we pay the amount to the particular vendors, right? That we can call it as a payment process flow in EBS. Then second uh, B point is receipts process flow, that we can call it as a receiving payments from the customers, right? Receipts process flow. Then C point is direct debit entries. If you have bank charges and all, okay. And in our electronic bank statements, we will going to discuss about the electronic bank statements, direct debit entries, that is bank charges and all. OK, so direct debit entries. See, all these points are very, very important. In interview point of view, they will going to ask you these questions, all of you. Okay. The next one. The next one. Uh, in this understanding file formats, okay, understanding file formats, understanding it's the strings is nothing but the understanding file formats, okay. So under the third point, can you just put the A mem? No, 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 fourth point, under the uh, statements of formats, understanding the statements of formats, under that uh, understanding statement format, can you just put the A? And we do have file header. We do have file header. File header. File header. The next one. B is account information. Account information. Account information. And C point is file footer. Okay. File header will be there. File footer will be there. And accounting information will be there. Okay, file footer we can call it as. Okay, so D point is over. The next one, remove this thing. And uh, under the understanding of the algorithm of EBS. Okay, algorithm of EBS. Okay, uh, concept of algorithms. Concept of A point is concept of algorithm. Concept of algorithm. Then next one, how to use the 
fifth algorithm three point is how to use how to use algorithms how to use algorithms then c point is when to go for a custom algorithm when to go for when to go for custom algorithm custom when to go for custom algorithm algorithm okay and, and the next one is exercise on exercise on below things exercise on below things uh, or else uh, remove the below things ma'am exercise on no interpretation no interpretation no interpretation uh, that we can call it as a triple zero no interpretation bracket open the bracket that is triple zero no interpretation uh, open the bracket that is triple zero the next one known uh, e point is exercise on checks exercise on checks exercise on checks see all of you if it is a new one don't worry try to understand the point in each and every configuration we will be discuss different points on the exercises of the algorithms exercise concept of the algorithms exercise of the formats exercise of the strengths and exercise of the uh, payment receivings and uh, uh, payment processing flows okay and the next one is direct debit entries direct uh, there is no credit entries credit entries is for the customers debit entries is like a bank charges like this okay we will going to understand in detail in electronic bank statement configuration okay the next one exercise on document number exercise on uh no not the checks it's a check bank check c h e q u e c h e q u e okay so that uh, algorithm is 0 uh, to 0 0 to 0 sorry checks uh, for the uh, exercise on check just open the bracket and in that 0 11 just write 0 11 then next step exercise on document number exercise on document number open bracket is 0 to 0 open bracket is 0 to 0 then next one next one exercise on reference number exercise on reference number exercise on reference number mm. open bracket that is 0 to 1 everything is uh, perfect right uh good the next one mom here under this uh, uh such string under the third point and in the third point mom concept of search string concept of search string
the configuration requires uh, configuration required for such string and three practical exercises. Then configuration required. Ah, and the next one is from three practical exercises. What are those three practical exercises? We will be discussed. Okay. The next one, user exist. Three practical exercises. No, no, no. Here, user exist is there. Fifth point. And then the fifth point only. See all of you. This, these. Uh, Things are mandatory. OK, if you tell only these points, definitely they will going to understand that these are the real time processes. OK, and when to go for exist. When to go for exit. When to go for. When to go for exit EXIT, not the exist EXIT. Yes, then. Uh, Understanding the logic of exist. No, no, no. B point is understanding the logic of exit. Understanding the logic of exit. Then user exit implementation. User exit implementation. Then next one exit. Test case preparation. Exit test case preparation. <clears throat> Exit test case preparation. OK, all of you. So we should understand the journal entries of the uh, particular payment to vendors and receipt uh, uh, from customers and direct debit uh, by the banks, right? Ma'am, under this payment process flow, go up. There is a payment process flow, go up. Huh. Under the payment process flow, just uh, put the uh, one point, ma'am. Mm. Under this state, uh, I mean, payment process flow, at the time of vendor invoice booking, at the time of vendor invoice booking, uh, at the time of vendor invoice booking, Click on the enter, ma'am. Enter. One more enter. Remove this uh, two and one more enter. Uh, enter. Give space, ma'am. Or else give tap, tap. No, no, no. Give tap, tap. One more tap. No, no, no. one more tap. See, at the time of uh, uh, vendor invoice posting, we will have entry. OK, what is that entry? GR or IR account. Goods receipt or invoice receipt. GR, IR account, debtor. Debtor to vendor account creator. To vendor account creator. They will ask you the entries all of you. So that is why I'm just giving you the things. Creator. OK, not give that much of space. Man. So uh, remove that thing. Oh, yes, click on the enter. Uh, good. Uh, come down. Second point. Second point. No, no, no. Not the receipts. It is a payment to vendors, second is invoices and all. OK, and under this entry, uh, give space. Yes. And second point is. Uh, when check issue to vendor when checks okay so you will use the checks right all of you when check when check issued to vendor when checks issued to vendor okay so vendor account data to the outgoing payment clearing account creator vendor account data to Outgoing payment clearing account creator. OK. Then next third point is 
when amount debited to main bank account when amount debited to main bank account okay so what is your main bank account i say sir bank accounts like this and we will uh, try to uh, give that payment to the particular outgoing payment accounts right that is uh, our uh, banks accounts okay bank they will have the their bank accounts right see so we have normal our bank accounts so that is our operations okay banks will have the banks accounts right okay so on that thing outgoing payment clearing account outgoing 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 payment clearing account outgoing payment clearing account debtor to main bank account creditor to main bank account creditor to main bank account creditor okay so they will just uh, send the information to the particular vendor i mean they will pay the amount to the particular vendor and after that they will send the information to our organization and we will prepare the bank statements okay these are the entries electronic bank statement entries are very very important in interview point of view they will just ask you these questions only okay and um, i mean they may give you the uh, i think so difficult questions and all these things and i mean uh, they will make you as a confused person okay so don't get too much of confusion and don't be in a confused mode please be in a clear clarity mode okay the next step receipts to process flow receipt process flow is very very important all of you okay so billing to customer first point is billing to customer what is the billing to customer what is the entry all of you customer account data to the sales account creditor right billing to customer see directly you will get the payment from the customer right and it will be reached to the your bank account and bank will transfer that amount to the your bank account right so on that thing billing to customer is a accounting entry is customer account debtor to the sales account creditor customer account debtor to the sales account creditor okay the next one Billing to customer, customer account data to the sales account creditor. Okay, good. The next one. Second point is when amount credited to main bank. When amount credited to main bank, directly it will be transferred to the uh, organization bank account, right? Okay, but to pay that amount to the particular things, there will be a process. But in the customer payment uh, receiving also, we do have process. but that will be take care by the uh, their customer banks outgoing banks and things okay <clears throat> when amount credited to main bank main bank account data to customer account creditor main bank account data to okay so this is direct payment all of you that we can call it as a direct deposit so if customer issues the check what is the uh, points okay so this is uh, direct payments then third point is ma'am third point is these are the direct payments third point is receipt from the customer against bill receipt from the customer receipt from the customer against bill against bill and all of you don't get too much of confusion these are the entries daily you generate but it will be taken by the uh, end users sap end users okay receipt from the customer against bill using checks bill using checks using checks then billing to customer <clears throat> yes billing to customer just uh, put the one uh, a point man that is billing to customer billing to customer hmm. same thing 
customer account return to the sales account creditor. Then next, direct deposit. Customer account return to the sales account creditor. And the next one is direct deposit. Direct deposit. Sales account creator. The next one is direct deposit. If it is a check, entries will be changed all of you. OK, direct deposit. That is incoming payment clearing account debtor to the. Incoming payment clearing account debtor to the. Incoming payment clearing account debtor to the customer account creator. OK. Then next step. Then next one. When amount created to main bank account, your bank account. OK, when amount. Created to main bank account. OK, automatically banks should transfer that amount to your main bank account. OK, bank is having the incoming payment to bank accounts, right? Outgoing payment bank accounts, right? OK, so uh, from that thing, they will going to transfer that amount to your bank account. See, these are the integrated tools all of you. You, you will you, you will not know what is the uh, this outgoing payment account and uh, incoming payments. All these things will be handled by your bank. OK, your main bank is different. Try to understand the point. When amount created to main bank. When amount created to main bank. OK, main bank account data to the incoming payment clearing account creator. OK, so now you got some clarity, right? I will just give you the example. You have transferred the uh, SAP FICO fees to my bank account. OK, directly I will going to get the payment, but to get that payment from you, I have to have the authorization from the bank. OK. Incoming payment clearing accounts. We do have accounts okay, for that particular bank and not our own banks. I mean, not our own bank account. That is bank own bank accounts. Okay, and outgoing payment clearing accounts. Uh, bank accounts also will be there for that particular bank. Okay, so once they get the confirmation from you, okay, this is the exact account details and all. Uh, they, I mean, uh, bank will ask you the Password bank will ask you the uh, net banking statuses and all. If it is a uh, IMPS, if it is a NEFT, if it is a RTS, anything. Okay, so it will ask you the one question. What is the question? So is it correct account? Can we able to transfer the amount to the particular uh, winning bank accounts and all? Yes. Okay, if you are saying uh, that one is yes, and that one will be measured by your password. Okay. So if you enter your password, that is exact thing. Okay, in your mind, you have to transfer that amount to your uh, receiver's bank account. Okay, so on that particular thing, okay, banks will receive the money from you. Okay, so bank will receive the money in their accounts from your bank account. Then they will transfer that amount from the incoming payment clearing account or outgoing payment clearing account to the vendors or customers. OK, so that is the main scenario here. When amount created to main bank account, main bank account data to the incoming payment clearing account creditor. So these things are mandatory all of you. Entries will be very, very important. OK, so try to understand the point. Uh, OK, good. So we will going to understand about the uh, one thing that is understanding statement of file format. Can you come down, ma'am? All these things are mandatory, all of you. Okay. If they ask you anything, and after the completion of this class, and try to share the file, ma'am. Okay. Hmm. Come down. Done. Complete. Done. And remove the H point, and. Uh, what is the next second thing? Seventh, seventh thing. See, these are the understanding of all these things, all of you. Okay. 
uh, i'm just giving you the proper uh, uh, propaganda okay for the electronic bank statement okay so if you just execute these things in your real time process or in your real time interview processes and on automatically they will going to understand okay what, what level of uh, understanding do you have on the electronic bank statements on uh, dme data medium exchanges and on okay they will just understand the things definitely and they will not going to question you anymore okay see if you tell the right answers they will not going to question you anymore so if you tell wrong answers for each and everything they will just understand right so that is another point of view understanding statement file format understanding statement file formats understanding statement file formats understanding statement file formats okay good so what are the main file formats that we have okay can you just write down them no under this uh, understanding of the statement file process no, no need to have eighth point just put a that is main form formats main formats main formats first one is mt940 mt940 second one is bai mt940 second one is bai third one is bai2 B A I two and fourth one is multi cash. Fourth one is multi cash. Okay, so these are the formats things that we going to use. I mean, we can able to use different types of formats. Most of the things, ninety five percentage of the clients will just use the MT nine forty. In my company also, um, I mean, we are using for my client, we are using the MT nine forty formats. Okay, and if they ask you any questions on these things, just uh, answer those things. Okay. And uh, file formats for uh, can you just put the eighth point, ma'am? Eighth point is file formats, file format, file format, MT nine forty. See, in any for in any files, you just need to have the algorithms, okay, based on the formatting types. What are those things? Can you just put the A, ma'am? A point is statement date. Can you just put the point? Statement date. Statement date. And uh, account number. Account number. Statement date and account number. And statement number. Statement number. C point is statement number. And uh, next point is opening balance. Opening balance. Then next one is transactional details one. Transactional details one. Transactional details one. And the next one is transactional details two. Transactional details two. And the next one is transaction. Next one is transaction. And then next one is uh, closing balances. Like this we have. We do have a lot of more things all of you. Okay. With the help of these things, you can able to understanding the formats. Okay. So what is the format and why we are using this formats? And uh, uh, I mean colon 20 colon. Uh, what is the exact uh, format type? Okay, is it related to the statement date, bank account number, and colon 25 colon bank account number, colon 28C statement numbers, colon 60F opening balances. Okay, like this example. Okay, I will just give you the example. I will just give you the example. Uh, you can just write down now. Example of MT940 format. Example of MT940 format. Ninth point is example of MT940 format. Okay. MT940 format. Okay, so colon 20 colon. Can you just put the uh, next point? I mean, not the next point. 
Uh, colon, no, 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 don't give any points. No, no, no. remove the A. Colon 20 colon. Mm. After the L, you do have colon, mom. Shift colon. Ah, yes. Colon 20 colon, it's uh, specifically deals with the statement date. Statement date. In real time, also, all will be there. All of you, don't worry. The next one. Colon 25 colon account number. Colon 25 colon. No, no, no. Just put this thing, ma'am. Colon 20 colon is statement date. Colon 20 colon is a statement date. Remove this thing. Just give statement date only. Statement date. The next one. Colon 25 colon account number. Colon. 25 colon account number. Then colon 28C colon statement number. We don't have statement numbers, right? Statement number. Then next colon 60F colon opening balance. Colon 60F colon opening balance. Then next one colon 61 colon. Transaction one. So in transaction one, what are those details? All of you, okay. Uh, transaction one. Open the bracket, ma'am. No, no, no. Open the bracket. Under the transaction one, open the bracket. Value and booking date, or else booking date. Just give booking date. Uh, what are the things that are there in the sixty-one? Under the transaction one. Um, booking date, currency, yes, currency, currency, comma, amount, amount, comma, business transaction code, bank reference, comma, bank reference, comma, bank reference, comma, transaction code. Comma transaction code. Hmm. The next one. Colon 86 colon. Colon 86 colon. Transaction one details. Transaction one details. One details. Okay. So transaction one is there. And for that thing, we do have uh, the algorithm. So uh, transaction one details is also important. Okay. So that is open the bracket. Transaction date. Transaction date. Oh, no, no, no. Transaction date is over. But, uh, remove the date and just transaction code. Transaction code, comma, code description. I mean, algorithm code should be there. So that is code description, comma, from R2, from R2. Or from slash two, from slash two, comma other other things. If we have any other things and all like uh, bank charges and uh, bank interest charges and all like this, we do. Okay, close this thing. Then next one. Next one. Colon sixty one colon again. This is uh, transaction two. Transaction two. Then same thing. Uh, colon eighty six colon is transaction two details. Transaction two details. Transaction two details. Transaction two day. Again, uh, colon sixty one colon. Transactions of number of details. Okay, outgoing payments will be there, incoming payments will be there. Slash, I mean, colon 61 colon transaction N. Then next step, colon 86 colon transaction N details. Colon 86 colon transaction N details. <clears throat> transaction N details. Then next step, colon 62 F colon. Closing balance. 
Okay, so this is about uh, I mean normal complete format example of nine empty nine forty formats and all all of you. I mean we will do the configuration. See don't worry. And uh, then next one is uh, tenth point is ma'am interpretation of algorithms. Interpretation algorithms. Interpretation algorithms. Interpretation algorithms. Interpretation algorithms and put a point is triple zero, triple zero hyphen. Just put the hyphen. No interpretation. I think so. I have already uh, given you in the above points. These uh, uh, algorithms. Triple zero is no interpretation. The next one. Double zero one standard algorithm. All of you, why we need to use this triple uh, zero and all? Okay, we use this algorithm if you don't want to use the standard algorithms supplied by SAP. Okay, instead you use the algorithms you have defined yourself with the help of conjunctions and with functional enhancements. Okay, in that thing, user will be existed. Okay, I will I will show you that thing. How these uh, see we are doing the inter, uh, customized in, interpretation algorithms. So that is why I'm just giving you the points. In interview, they will ask you all these things. Okay, then next step, standard algorithm. What do you mean by standard algorithm? This algorithm interpre uh, interprets definitely with the values in the nodes to pay fields of the electronic bank statement as either. Um, document numbers or reference documents numbers. OK, it checks whether the values fall within the document or reference document number ranges you entered when importing the bank statement. That we can call it as a standard algorithm, right? The next one, 011, outgoing check. Yes, outgoing check. See, you know it very well. This algorithm is used for payments by check if the bank uses pre numbered checks. Okay. I mean, your house bank supply, supplies uh, the check number, right? Okay. You have seen very well in the bank statements. And the algorithm uses the check number to find the appropriate document number in the system. Okay. See, whatever the outgoing payments that you have, it will going to find out, right? Appropriate documents numbers uh, will be identified in the systems. Definitely. The next one, uh, 0, 1, 2 is for the uh, identical outgoing check. No, no, not the checks, ma'am. It is check, C H E C K, check. Okay, we are going to get some confusion, right? <clears throat> 0, 1, outgoing check. That is identical outgoing check. Okay. 0, 1, 2 is outgoing identical check or identical outgoing check. Identical outgoing check. Identical outgoing check. Okay. Good. The next one. The next one. Mm. I think so. See, to remember all these things, uh, I'm getting headache. 013 identical or non identical check. Identical or non identical outgoing check. Identical or non identical outgoing check. Outgoing check. The next one 015. That is clearing transaction. Clearing transactions. Okay. Clearing transaction. Then next one. Next one. Zero one nine. Data medium exchange reference document number. All of you. That one is very, very important. DME administration reference document number. DME administration, the reference document number. 
reference document number. Okay, the next one, 020 document number. We should give the document numbers, right? To clear all these things. See, these are the algorithms, all of you. Okay, try to understand the point. The next one, 021, reference document. Okay, with the help of reference, in your FB60, FB70 invoices and all, you will have reference documents members. With the help of that thing also, we can able to prepare the bank statements. Okay. The next one, uh, zero double two, zero double two, zero double two. Bank transfers methods, either it is a check, either it is a direct transfers. Okay, and zero two two three. Bank transfer method with reference. Bank transfer with reference. 026. 026. And reference uh, document number with the leading zeros. OK, you, you will not go into enter any reference number. How these bank statements will be identified? Based on which measurements? With the zero and measurements only, right? So that is why we do have one algorithm. OK, zero two. Six reference number with leading zeros. The next one, zero to seven. Uh, zero to seven is uh, not at all important. No? Mm. Give the zero to eight. I think so. In my company, we use we don't use uh, zero to seven. We just use the zero to eight. Zero to eight is nothing but the multi cash. Okay, if you pay that amount by cash, how? How you will going to upload the statements? Okay, the next one, 029, payment order number also. 029, payment order number. And uh, 030 algorithm will not be used by the uh, organizations. If you have any Brazil companies, I mean, countries, Brazil, that is not the number. 031, yes. 031 is document number such. Okay, document numbers will be there, right? Okay, when you clear that document, document uh, numbers will be generated. And when you get the payments, documents number will be generated, right? Okay, in your system. So it is coming from the particular bank accounts, but you should uh, clear that payment in your uh, system, right? SF system. The next one, 041, that is treasury. What is the exact financial things, uh, statements that we have? 020, that is treasury. Then, uh, sorry, not the uh, 041 is the treasury. 120, one two zero document number such document number such with no check no check c h e c k with no check the next one one to one one to one A reference document number with no check reference document number with no check reference document number with no check So these are the formats of, uh, I mean, not the formats, these are the interpretation algorithms. Okay, how these uh, opening balances and closing balances and outgoing payments and incoming payments and uh, uh, transactional uh, details of bank charges and the uh, interest bank charges and on, how these things are uh, populating in your bank statements based on the algorithms. Okay. So this is the basic introduction class for the electronic bank statements.